and welcome to the Arthur Eddington Center. Uh, today we're having a fundraising event for uh, Mr. Robert Simmons, who's a uh, community activist, mentor, um, also a member of the Southside Community Advisory Board, as well as on the board of Mana Foods, real strong man in the community with adult programming for his father to father program. So today we're doing a fundraiser for him because he's in a hardship right now um, with uh, medical bills and expenses. So today we celebrate him and giving him support uh, from the community. All right, good. Mr. Simmons, um, being a community activist, uh, doing programs to help um, re-entering males into the community, to be better fathers to their children, so his Father to Father program is very instrumental in our communities, as well as uh, providing healthy food in the community as well through Mana Foods because we all um, know that our communities have food deserts and don't get the proper nutrition. So that's one of the things that he worked hard for, making sure that communities got healthy food, clean food in their communities. Um, <laughs> Mr. Simmons, you have a moment? So we just, you know, I was talking about all the good things about you and your work in the community and how you um, working with men in the community when they re-enter back into the community so they can be better fathers to their children with their Father to Father program. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, this has been kind of the love of, it's been something I've been interested in for a long time. I started uh, basically teaching classes out of the prison to the men out there in 2002 and was blessed enough to bring that same opportunity to this community because one of the things that we were noticing is that there were more and more fatherless young men and some of the young men who didn't have positive male role models in their life they were making very poor choices which were leading to very severe consequences and those consequences a lot of times was about the criminal justice system so we decided to step in myself and a bunch and a few other men in the community decide we can make a difference because a lot of the things that they had yet to go through we've been through so we can kind of guide them and and kind of advise them about the choices that they were making 
because even though they were making them at 13, 14, 15 years old, the price that they would pay for them would come at 25, 30, and 35 years old because the pattern they set at an early age is kind of hard to break. So our thought processes were we can make a difference. So that's what we have been embarked on and attempting to do. Thank you, Mr. Simmons. I know one of the first times that I met you uh, was down at the Wesley Grant Center and uh, working with uh, some of the youth down there. And one of the things that you told me was, you out here more than the men are and you stepping up to the plate. And so that's something that I continue to do is working in my community. So I appreciate you for acknowledging me in that, but and then can still continuing to do that work. But also another thing that you did uh, do, um, was um, bringing food into the community through MANA and making sure that the communities got healthy um, and fresh food uh, in the community. Could you tell us a little bit about the MANA program? We, uh, Buncombe County, I contract through Buncombe County to partner with MANA Food Bank and we've identified 11 low wealth communities where we felt we could make a difference in the health and wellness of those communities through a better nutrition, fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, um, accessible meats and proteins for them. And we have partnered with Mana Food Bank for the last five years, and it has made a tremendous difference in terms of the food that's available to these low wealth communities that they don't have to spend the food stamps on or sometimes even the dollars that they could be using to buy medicine or fulfill their prescriptions. We freed up some monies for them to be able to do that. But what it also has done is provide the community with a social gathering place that's safe for the community to come and be a part of. And we're very proud of the difference that we've made. And where we are here today is one of the sites that has benefited from the Manor Food Bank, uh, the Manor Pop-Up Program. And uh, we're very proud of this site, proud of you, and the volunteers who make it work here, as well as the other sites that we serve. Thank you, Mr. Simmons. And uh, this is the day that we celebrate you for all your hard work that you've done in our community. So thank you, and we want to give back to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. All right.